Hey everybody, it's Lano again from Modern Home Systems Rancho Santa Fe, bringing you today's tech tip, sharing a photo stream. All right, I know a lot of you out there already know how to do this, but for those who don't, uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. All right, the first step is going to be go down to the iPhoto application, open that guy up. Okay, once you're in iPhoto, you, you everybody knows you have your events. Uh, whenever you load up a photo, they become events. And you can create your own folders by merging multiple pictures together. Or in one uh, import, it will basically put all those photos into one event. And right now I'm going to show you how to create a photo stream to share with somebody. All right. First thing we're going to do is in this little blank area, the easiest way to create a new album, you can easily go up to the file and create a new album. Uh, but what we're going to do is you're going to, if you have a mouse, you right click in this area. In this case, I have a trackpad. I'm going to two finger click, which brings up my options. And I'm going to choose the first option, which is new album. All right. And we're going to name this, let's say if we're sending it to uh, another person named Lano. <laughs> so we're going to put Lano's. And I'm just going to put on here, it's going to be Lano's photo stream. So I'm going to make this personal, uh, personalized photo stream for somebody. Let's say I constantly want to keep adding new photos for this person to see. Uh, let's say a grandparent. If you have some kids and you always want to show them uh, their grandchildren, up, they can always go on there and see updated photos all the time. All right, so here's going to be the new photo stream. So we're going to go back to events. And I'm just going to go through all uh, my events and add the photos that I want to share uh, with Lano. So what we're going to do is click and open it up. I'm going to grab a few of these, and remember, by holding down Command, you can select multiple ones that aren't in a row, if that's what you want to do. Um, and once you let go of Command, all the ones will be highlighted. You can cl click one of them, and it'll drag the rest of them with it. We're going to throw those guys in there. We're going to go back to Events, go to the next round. I'm um, just going to grab another one, hold down Command, grab some multiples, grab one, drag it into there. Uh, and so I can, you know, I can go on and on. Uh, here's a nice, funny one here too. I grab this guy, throw it in there. All right, grab the photos I want to put in the photo stream. Now I'm going to click on the photo stream, make sure they're all there. Yep, seems that it is. Uh, here's a nice, funny one for you guys: uh, Chihuahuas and mariachi outfits. I think uh, people would like to be to have that photo in their photo stream. All right, and that's all the photos we put in our photo stream. Now the next thing is a very simple step. It's very short. This little uh, tech tip is probably short, but I think a very useful tech tip. All right, we go down here to the bottom right. Once you're inside of the album, we're gonna hit Add To. Once Add To comes up, we can choose to do whatever we want with these photos. We can create a book out of them, a card, a calendar, or a slideshow. In this case, we're gonna go into iCloud, which is gonna allow us to create a photo stream. So click iCloud. Uh, you can see here's my photo stream, which is actually all the photos that I share between my devices. But we're going to create a new photo stream. All right. It gives us an option here to say two. So we're going to email the person that we want to invite to our photo stream. They will receive the email. They can subscribe to it. And then they will be allowed to come in uh, through their photos and see this photo stream there. And it'll become almost like a little uh, library folder for them to see. And every time you add a new one, they'll be able to see that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to send this to myself. Okay, I'm going to add that to it. Uh, it's, we named it already, Lana's Photo Stream. You can put in any other comments. You can also put subscribers can post. Uh, so when uh, somebody who's actually looking at your photos, they can actually, if you want to allow them, subscribers to add photos and videos to the stream. So they can actually add stuff to it if they want to show you some stuff back. Uh, you also have another option here, public website. Allow anyone to view this photo stream. But we want this to be kind of between two people, uh, so we're going to click and leave that on there. And all you have to do here is going to hit share. This will send that email to that other person through the iCloud. And we'll click here. You can see my photo stream. And then here's the one, Lano's photo stream that I'm sharing. Uh, now on the other end, I'll show you what it looks like when they get it. Okay, I'm now in my inbox and I can see the invite. As you can see here, it says you are invited to view this photo stream and post your uh, photos, videos, and comments. Other subscribers will see your email address when you join. So if I have invited more than one person, every time somebody new is added, the other people can see who is added to this photo stream. And they can all share in between and comment, very similar to like having your own personal social network, uh, but with just personal friends and family that you want, maybe closer friends and family. All right, all you have to do, uh, if you get one of these messages or that you send it out, this is what the, they'll see. And all you have to do is simply hit subscribe to this photo stream. 
it'll say uh, it'll automatically tell you you have to turn on photo sharing if you don't already have it uh, enabled so we'll go to settings uh, once we're in settings, all we have to do is hit this little toggle switch here with photo sharing, which is going to allow us to actually share and view these photos. Now, when we go back to the home button, we're going to click on our photos here and you can see right in the middle, we have shared, click the shared folder. And right here, you can see Lano's photo stream. Uh, you can also add one yourself from your iPhone and share it the same way we did uh, on the computer. We just add the person's name of who we want to send it to. So we're going to click on that. And there you go, there's all the photos that we have. We're gonna click on this and view through them. It's really, really cool. Um, you know, you can see down here, uh, below here, I have it on full screen, but you'll have your comments you can add to the pictures here. Uh, and you can actually write some to them, they can write back. You can like the photo. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do here. Uh, we're gonna hit people. You can see there we go there's the people that are invited and you can invite more people through that as well all right so that was sharing a photo stream i uh, hope you guys enjoy it. and like always i hope you guys put it to use thanks for tuning in and for any more information feel free to contact us here at the rancho santa fe location and we'll be glad to help